Well, it is a, uh, 11 o'clock at night and I am happy, and tired, and we're gonna try and throw this together pretty quick. As you can see, we've made some forward progress on the cat loader. And then if I spin over this way, uh, you can tell the tractor that was in 18 million pieces last week. Uh, it's going back together in the right direction. And that kind of ties into today's video. There has been 40 million things going on uh, those past week. And it's always like this as we go get into fall. So as you can see, we're making forward progress here on a lot of these shop projects, which is really nice. It's just, it's always tough when you look at the calendar versus the equipment lineup in the shop. Uh, the calendar saying, you know, it's September 6th and the shop saying we need another week or two for prep. Well, we'll see how it all goes. Last Friday was a lot of fun. Uh, we actually picked up this motor. We ordered a new motor for a service truck. And then actually on Monday, me and Adam got that down there. And then uh, we were also working on a lot over the weekend. We had this record heat hit and uh, we did our best to hide in the shop and we were trying to work as much as we could in the shop out of the heat. And we had a couple tractors in and out of here. I was working on a um, uh, blower motor for a 4850 one day. And even just this weekend with the heat, we knew we were gonna have a lot of trucking to do, but we had another plant that had some problems. And so I ended up doing about twice as much trucking as usual. And I don't know if any of you guys ever have this, the one day you don't wanna be in a vehicle, look at that, you're in a traffic jam. Yep, Monday afternoon, I was sitting there just in a traffic jam on a holiday weekend and it was really hot and I was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of the way it goes. <clears throat> Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, we were basically just working in the shop. Uh, me and Mechanic Larry were working on this tractor here. And then uh, same thing with today. Um, today was a little bit of adventures. We got into Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, I knew mechanic Larry was going to be here, but other uh, also uh, another mechanic was here uh, working on this loader. And it was just hectic. Two mechanics on each side of the shop just going back and forth. And it was just crazy. I had a meeting this morning and I had to do some tax preparation stuff uh, with my mom. And so I came in the shop around like 10 30, 10, 10 30, right in there. And from 10 30 to about six o'clock at night, I never sat down. I never quit moving. It was just an absolute circus. And so that's just kind of the way the last week's been as we've been doing a lot of prep work, getting ready for uh, fall. And this new video, if you notice, it's a little short. And part of that is just because this week's just been so hectic. And sometimes that's what we just run into is actually before fall hits, sometimes is more even more hectic than actually in the season of fall. And I'm hoping that's the way this year is going because this week was just so crazy. It was like, why do I do this? <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like every job, I'm sure, if, you know, if you go to work, there's days you you too wonder why you go to work. But no, it's all clicking along really, really well. It's just... Uh, just a lot going on here. Actually, earlier in the day too, um, last Saturday, I went down and looked at a corn head that was gonna be on an auction. And uh, we actually ended up buying it. My dad went down to pick that up today. And then we found out the mounting supports weren't quite right on the trailer. We gotta move, uh, move those. And so my dad ran down to buy, uh, pick it up in about an hour and a half south of us. And lo and behold, nope, that trailer will not work. So uh, it's just been kind of a little bit of everything going on here this week. And, uh, but yeah, it's kind of our weekly recap. Just a lot of things going on. I was looking at when I was you know, in the office this morning doing the tax prep stuff. I was also paying some bills. And I was looking at all the dollar amounts on the parts account and just going, oh my gosh. Wow, we can spend a lot of money in a hurry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Tuesday night was kind of funny because I was busy on the road trucking and we knew we wanted to run a magnet up and down the oil pan of this loader. And uh, we knew 
we knew we were one push rod short. Now what we thought was the prior mechanic who had opened this thing up, we thought maybe he took it with him or it was in his truck, but we knew there was a small chance that it might be someplace else. Well, we actually found out where that was. Well, I have the, the new 950F behind me with the uh, one they bought with the uh, engine problems. And so I think they figured it all out, some stuff with push rods and the valve train, everything kind of let go. And so Eric had me tonight, just drain the oil on it. He wanted me to, they were missing a push rod actually. So the guy that they have out here helping them do it, uh, noticed that one was missing. They weren't really sure where it was, if it was just on the mechanics bench of who they bought the loader from or if it fell into the oil pan of the engine. So they were hoping it fell in there, you know, just for some clarification. I just drained the oil. Yeah, there's a drain plug on the side of the pan or the back of the pan there. And I pulled that plug out after I drained the oil, of course. It still drained oil on me for a little while, made a little bit of a mess, but not too bad. And I grabbed a couple magnets. You can see the one behind me next to the light there. Uh, and about three of them just went fishing in there and found the push rod actually. So uh, it's nice. I talked to Eric on the phone. He was real uh, thrilled to hear that. You know, you don't gotta really worry about that. I found a couple bolts, some miscellaneous stuff that I honestly don't actually know what it is, but yeah, nice to have, you know, some answers to stuff and nice to just get that stuff out of the oil pan. And let's just say I am grateful <laughs> we got that out. <laughs> Overall, just happy it's all moving forward and, and we're just cruising up on fall. The crops are turning and uh, we just know in the next couple of month, weeks here, we're gonna have a lot of equipment moving around. And so wrapping these two projects up is just kind of a nice feeling and just kind of a nice way tonight, just walking in the shop at 11 o'clock, shutting the shop up and just going, all right, one day closer. <laughs>